back to my youtube channel pravin kumar bamsi today we'll see one of the real time sql use case that is so i want to print january to december okay using sql so if you open any bank state like bank account so i want to get particular month like i want to get may first too so we need to click on may month so for this purpose we need to have this month okay so in order to have this month by using sql we can able to generate from january to december okay so we'll see what how exactly we can able to achieve this query so in order to solve this requirement we should have better understanding of the following concept like select statement dual table c state trunk add month concept year first day connect by level alias concept. okay so if you if you know this concept our requirement would be easy let us discuss one by one okay so now what is dual okay we'll see dual so it is available in oracle database only it has only one column and one value so name of the column is dummy and its value is x so if I query select star from real, it will display dummy and X. So this is the column name and this is the value X. So this data type is var 2 and data size is one. So remember, this is very, very important in terms of entry perspective. So dual is what? It's an Oracle table. It has call, it has only one call that is dummy and value is X and data size is, data type is var 2 and data size is one. Next up is, is how to get two days state. So by using sys state. So by using system, we can able to get today's date as well as timestamp. So 4th September 2022, 01010108. So it will give you date as well as timestamp. I want to get first day of the current year. First day in a sense like January 1st, 2022. So by using state, we can able to get. So trunk of state comma year. So if I put year, what happened now? It will give first day of the current year. That is nothing but January 1st, 2022. Instead of year, if I put month, it will give first day of the current month. So instead of month, if I put DD, it will give current day. That is today's date on it. Will give. Hope this is clear. Okay. If I put trunk of year, it will give first date of the current month, current year. If I put month, if I put month, it will give first day of the current month. So if I put DD, it will give current day. That is today's date. It will give. So next extracting month. Okay. If you see here, two care. So select two care of state MON. Okay. So to carry the functionality to extract some part of this, some part of the date. Okay, you see, I want to extract only month. Okay, it will display September is current month. So three cats only extract SCP. So if I put MON here, it will display September, but I want only MON. So it will display SCP. So add months concept. If you want to add any months to the current date, we can able to use add months concept. So C state. So if you see C state, add months of C state, comma one. So if, if I query this one, we'll get clear cut feature. Current date is what? 4 September 22. I'm adding plus one. So current month for the current month, I'm adding one month. So that is nothing but 4th October 2020. So if you put minus one, it will be previous month. That is August 4, August 4, 2022. Hope this is clear. Okay. Current date, we are adding one month. One month. So it will give 4 September, 4th October. Now connect by level. So this is very, very important. Okay. So syntax is like this. Select level from real connected by level less than or equal to five. So it will print one to five numbers. So in SQL, if we want to loop n number of times, we'll make so connect by level concept. So if you see here, connect level from dual, connect by level less than or equal to five. It will print one to five numbers. Okay. So in a similar fashion, if I want to print one to 10 numbers, what do I need to do? Instead of five, we need to put less than or equal to 10. So that what it will be printed one to 10 numbers. Select level from dual, connect by level less than or equal to 10. So it will print one to 10 numbers. Suppose if I want to have, have one to 100 numbers, we should put less than or equal to 100. So in interview, interview perspective, this point, this concept is very, very useful. Okay. So if I want to print one to five numbers, one to 10 numbers, we'll make so connect by level concept in SQL. Now we'll see our exact requirement. I will say one more time, our requirement is what? Our requirement is to print January to December, like January, February, March, April, up to December. So 12 months, I know print by using SQL. So where we will use this, this uh, use case. So if you open any bank statement, like if you want to do, if I want to get particular month transaction, we click on, suppose I want to get July transaction. I'll click on July month. I want to get per specified month. Okay. So we'll go for this one. So we, our requirement is to generate this month by using SQL concept. Okay. So we'll see what is the exact query for it. So January, to, our requirement is for to print January to December. So 12 months end of print. So why I have print 12 in the sense like from January to December, we are having 12 months. That's why 
going to loop this query for 12 times. So connect by level is used to loop, iterate for 12 times. So trunk of this state of year, what it will give? It will give first day of the current year, that is January 1st, 2022. For this month, I am doing add months concept. So add months, what it will do from January, it will be from January, it will go February, March like this, 12 times it will be added. So December will get. So, but what we want, if I execute this query, what happened? You see, 0, 01 January 2022, 0, 01 February 2022. So like this, it will display. Okay. So one more time. Our requirement is what? From January to December, I want to print. Okay. So we need to go for connect by level concept. Why? Because if I want to loop n number of times, we should go for connect by level concept. Why I'm putting 12 in the sense like from January to December, we are having 12 months. So we need to prove, we need to loop this for 12 times. So trunk of the state of year, what it will do? So it will give what? It will give first day of the current year. That is nothing but January 1st, 2022. So for this, I'm adding months. So add months of level minus one. Okay. In the first place, what will be the level will be one. So one minus one will be zero. So it will be current month will be split. In second place, two minus one, it will be one. So current month, January 1st, will be added to the first one month. That is not but February 1st. So if you see here, we'll get the output like this. So January 1st, February 1st, March 1st, up to December. But our requirement is what? I want to extract only Jan, Feb, March, April. Only month I want to extract. So if you see here, so everything will be same, okay. Connect by level less than or equal to 12, six state, year. So add months, level minus two. What will happen? 0, 01, Jan, 2022, 0, 01, Feb, 2022, like this, December. 01 December 2021. But we want only John Feb. Okay, months we want. How can we extract one? We should go for two care functionality. So if you see two underscore care, I'm extracting only month. That is nothing but J N F E B like this three characters only we want. So if you execute this query, we'll get the exact output. Hope this is clear. Okay. So if you have doubt now, one more time I'll explain. Okay. So from dual. So if you want to solve any requirement, we should go for dual table. Connect by level, why I'm using? Because we need to loop n number of times. But why I'm using 12 in the sense like, this is in January, December, we are having 12 months. That's why I'm looping for 12 times. So trunk of the state of year, what it will give? It will give first day of the current year. That is nothing but January 1st, 2022. So for this one, what I'm doing? I'm doing add months concept. So add months, what it will do? From January 1st, it will add one month. That is February. March like this, it will loop. But I want only month. So how can I extract month by using two underscore care function? So it will give what? Only month. Okay, it will give M O N function. That is something like Jan, Feb, March like this up to December. So like this, our requirement. Okay, understand the concept slowly. Slowly, we need to develop this. Thing. Okay, step by step, we need to develop and we need to get the required output. Hope this is clear. Okay, so one more batch. So one more important update is that from September 10th, I'm starting a new batch. So if you are interested, you can able to join. So in this one, we'll start from scratch SQL and scratch PLSQL. So you can able to, so if you want to expert in SQL and PLSQL, you can able to join and you can able to reach out on this number. So this is my number. So if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.